It's indeed a Black Monday for students of the Olabisi Onobanjo University who lost 11 of the colleagues in a fatal accident along the Benin Ore Express Road. The leaving colleagues arrive in five buses of the institution accompanied by security operatives. Personal effects of the dead student still later the scene, along with the mangled remains of the bus and the container that wrecked the avoc. At the sight of the belongings of the departed, they cannot hold back their emotions. Prayers are also offered for the repose of the dead colleague's souls. This is not just happening today, it has been going on for a long time. If you look down the road a little bit, there is a company there whose uh, truck usually are in the habit of taking one way. They are always driving against the traffic whenever they want to either come and drop uh, raw materials or they, are even, they have even loaded and they want to go. The Student Union President demands an investigation into the accident with a seven-day ultimatum to the government. At this point in time, the government can still not tell us the whereabouts of the driver of that truck. We, want the, the, we are giving them a seven days ultimatum for them to produce the driver of that truck. We also want that company to be prosecuted for, public, for, for corporate manslaughter. Not only that, we also want the government to conduct a very good investigation into the conspiracy that is going on between the FRSC, the, uh, the, the, the trace officials, and some of the private hospitals around here. However, it appears in their anger and grief, they can't wait for the wheels of justice to start turning. The students stormed the gates of the private company whose truck was believed to have killed the colleagues, forced the gate open and proceed to vandalize property, including vehicles.